Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to populate the tab bar icons onto the tab bar itself. So if you can see with me over here, when I open the simulator and I come to the main part of the app, this is empty and it says item one and item two. Yep, it looks uh, pretty plain and let's fix that. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to come over to freepick.com. Again, this is my very recommended site where you can get some uh, pretty good resource. And I'm going to search for home. All right, so you can choose uh, any of these uh, icons over here, and I would re I would recommend uh, you know for icons to use mono color instead of the multi color. So I've already selected uh, my home button already, and you can also do the same for the settings button as well. Let me close this pop up. All right, so you can actually uh, download uh, this settings button to be used as the tab bar icon as well. All right, so on my desktop, I've already um, let's come over here. On my desktop, I've already prepared the icons over here. So I have the home. And just remember that uh, they are in different sizes. All right, so in the uh, 3x size, it's 75 times 75. And for the 2x size, it's 50 times 50. And for the uh, one time size, is 25 times 25. All right, so if you know how to use Photoshop, you can actually resize them accordingly. All right, so I've already prepared them already. So uh, let's just import them into the project. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Let's click on the Assets folder. Okay, open the Finder window and let me just drag that in. Okay, so you notice that uh, IC Home and IC Settings have been uh, have been inputted into the Assets folder and it comes with the different sizes. Okay, one time, two time and three time. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is to, ta is to tap on the main dot storyboard. And we're going to navigate to our um, tab bar controller, which is this one over here. And we're going to click the first uh, view controller, which is item one. Let's click on this uh, region over here where it selects this item one. And over here, we can change the title and let's change this to home. Okay, under the image, we can click on the drop down button and let's select the IC home. So it shows the home over here. And for the second item, uh, we can do the same. Let's click on this guy over here and let's select set and let's type in settings. And for the image, we are going to use IC settings. All right, guys. So I hope that you uh, can learn this principle as well, where, you know, I name my uh, assets uh, very, uh, you know, very strictly. I preset it with IC and IM. And this practice will really, really help you in the long run. Because right now, we only have a couple of images. But when your app gets really big, you know, when you get like 50 to 100 images, it gets really, really messy. And having proper naming conversion can really, really help you and save you a lot of time. All right, guys. So this is a tip from me. Okay, so now that this is done, let's click the play button to load the simulator. And I should see the, uh, the icons loaded on the tab bar controller. All right, click the get started button, click the lock it button. Okay, so right now I see the, uh, the tab bar icons, which is good. So I can actually just navigate between the both tabs. Okay, so what is the next thing that we want to do? Okay, let's see. All right, the next thing that we want to do is actually to uh, create the app icons. Okay, so let me just um, open up my uh, this file on Photoshop. Okay, I've, I'm using Photoshop, so uh, I will know how to do this. Uh, if you don't have any Photoshop skills, I would recommend that, you know, maybe get a uh, buy a course on, on, on Photoshop because this is a very, very important skill. Okay, so I have this uh, icon which I've downloaded from uh, flaticon.com and I'm just going to create a background onto it. Okay, you don't have to really uh, follow this, but I'm just showing to you my, my, my thought process of how I, I, I do this in order to set up the app icons. Okay, and I'm going to set the uh, background color to be white. Okay, I'm going to also just flatten the just flatten this together, hold on. Just flatten this image. And I'm just gonna save this as a, um, let me see what I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this as app icon, okay. Uh, travel uh, app icon, okay, something like that. Okay, so now that I have this app icon with the white backdrop at the back, I can come over here, I can close Photoshop already. I can come over here to this website called App Icon Generator. Okay, let me just 
set it up brand new. Okay, so when you go to appicon.co, this is what you're gonna see. And I'm gonna drag this image that I've just generated. And remember that I've created uh, the white background because if you're not gonna do that, it's gonna be transparent. And if it's transparent, it's gonna appear black uh, by default on uh, on your homepage of your, of your iPhone. All right, so I've already created this and let me hit on the generate button. And I've also only selected iPhone over here. I'm pretty sure you can do the same for the rest, but uh, you know what? Maybe let me just select iPad as well. Hit the generate button and I have this app icon over here. Okay, when I open this up, this is what I'm gonna see, okay? So under the, under the zip file, when I open this up, this is what I see, the app store, the play store, and this assets.exe assets over here. Okay, that comes with this. All right, guys, so what I can do is, let me just move this out of the way. Let's come over to the assets.exe assets over here, and I can just remove this app icon. I believe I can do that. And then uh, now I can just drag this app icon dot app icon set inside here. Okay, I think this should work. And automatically it populates all the different sizes of the of the images. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't do it this way, you have to, you know, if you are doing it manually, you have to Photoshop all the different sizes and just drag it one by one, which can be uh, rather time consuming. Alright, so now that I've performed this step, I can just run the project. Okay, now that the project is run, I can hit the Command Shift and the H button on my keyboard to bring it to the uh, home screen. All right, so guys over here, I have a very nice uh, icon that's being set up. Maybe I can also just uh, close the app. So you get a very, very seamless experience where you know the user uh, is seeing the, the icon, he clicks on it, he sees the icon again, and then it loads and it pops to the onboarding screen. Alright guys, I hope this uh, video has been helpful and in the next video, I'll probably be just cleaning up cleaning up the rest of the app, you know, maybe killing a couple of empty spaces and making uh, and renaming some things and I think that should conclude the end of this uh, tutorial series. And uh, thanks guys for joining with me and I hope you greatly benefited from uh, the teachings over here. Cheers!